hello hello my beautiful friends welcome back to my channel so as you might know i am on this journey of a beautiful beautiful smile so for today it, i'm so excited for today because i have two sweet caring uh, amazing subscribers and i saw these comments like two or three weeks ago before I had to leave to Aruba for an emergency. You all saw it as a vacation, but I had an emergency to go uh, to Aruba, so it was not in the plans, and I was supposed to react to these videos two to three weeks ago, and up to now, I can do that. So, um, to uh, Rocio Reyes Roman, if you're watching, Thank you so much for your patience. And the other one is um, my mystery subscriber, <laughs> which I know his name, but he asked me not to publish his name and I respect that. So thank you so much for letting me know. So I will be um, putting the screenshot of the comments somewhere while I'm talking about it or reading it. Uh, but I also have printed, I also printed it out just to uh, read it more comfortably. So yes. Um, uh, yes, let's go straight to the comments. So yes, so first Sam, Sam, I will be dividing your questions in two parts. Uh, the first one being the part of confidence, fears, overcoming that. And the second part will be about um, your questions. So yes, let's start. So your first question if, is, um, if I see many older adults with, with braces. To be honest, um, Sam, here in the Netherlands, I don't. And I think that's because the culture here, um, it's normal for them for for them to uh, have braces when they're younger. So when they're older, they actually don't need it that much. And if so, they use like the Invisaligns, you know, like the transparent one, the transparent ones. Why? Because they already had a orthodontic treatment, and they might just be fixing a little thing. But in my home country, like Venezuela, Colombia, or Aruba, which where I grew up, there I did see more adult people with uh, adult braces. That's why I was a little scared on uh, coming here and start my journey. But you know what? Now we're over that. And if I see someone on the street, an adult with braces, I will definitely go up to them and say, you know, I'm proud of you. I think I will do that. So yeah, so the second is, uh, do you wish you picked all metal? As it sounds like you will be banded for one a while. Um, I don't. Like one part of me says, okay, now I have the confidence that I, I never thought that I will have, I swear, with braces. And I, I feel like I have the ability to have chosen for a metal, you know? But at the same time, I'm happy with my ceramic ones. They're not invisible, but they're a little bit less visible, and that makes me feel better. But now that I see other people with um, their metal braces, like on YouTube, I feel like, wow, you know what? Now, at this point of my life, I feel more confident about it, and I think that I could have done it. But at the beginning, I was so afraid of, as you mentioned at the end of your comment, I was so scared of the stare in the comments or uh, I don't know like you know just attention to your most insecure part of your body maybe I was so scared so that's why I chose for my ceramic ones but I have to be honest it honest uh, it's kind of annoying because it can get stained very easily with things that you eat like um, curry which I don't really like but some foods have food coloring, curry, and that sort of things. Um, even when I eat pizza, it's horrendous. Or, or if I eat mustard, all those kind of things, which I have to be very careful of. Or I have to like time, like, okay, I know that I will change my bands uh, in two days, so it's okay. Otherwise, I have to stop eating those foods. But you know what, it's okay. I still, I am happy. But I could have chosen metal if I had this confidence that I have now, if I had it four months ago. 
um, well, all metal will be better for your rigorous treatment. Uh, it's the same thing. It's actually definitely just the same thing. It's just about how it looks, but um, there's no... There's supposed to be no difference in, in the process or the treatment. So this is a part that I really wanted to talk about because um, I will be reading Rocio's comment in a while and I believe it's both of, uh, this topic covers both of you, but I will just talk to you right now, Sam, you deserve that. Um, when they asked me if I have any idea how to be more confident and and um, and to help you because you're scared of all the staring, gawking and comments to come and you also say or ask um, if I have any idea on how to overcome your nervousness and your fears. Uh, first of all, Sam, I just want to go through the screen, give you a hug and tell you that it's all going to be all right. I know it's cliche and people say that, but I truly know that. And I feel like I'm telling you this because I, I, I just went through this, um, you know, like a couple of months ago, I was so scared. And if you all see my videos, like my first videos, I was crying. I was like sobbing and I was so scared because I was like, how? Like, how in the world am I going to be able to to do this? You know, I'm the most, no, I'm the least person or the last person that you could say that has confidence that had or that had, you know, that level of self-love and self-acceptance um i used to think so low about myself that i never thought that i will reach the point that i will actually be wearing braces but here i am you know so i want to be the example for you like um it's hard it's it's so hard in the beginning but at the end it's just that feeling of accomplishment which is so much bigger than the fear right now but I truly understand you, and I wish you can see my first videos where, where I was talking about that, about confidence, about how hard is it to overcome the nervousness, the fears, you know. Uh, but um, I'm just going to tell you about what I did and that helped me to overcome this. First of all, I went online and see a bunch of these videos that you're watching right now. And I tried to look for inspiration, for motivations, and for those reactions. I, I used to look for the worst cases, like the worst cases of teeth and the most dramatic changes. Because I was like, whoa, if that person achieved that, I can achieve that as well. And when I saw their end result, that gave me so much joy and happiness to see them happy. That I was like, you know, I want that happiness. I deserve that happiness. I de I I'm worth it. I'm I you know I'm worth that result. So the first things that I started to do was write down my fears. Okay, why am I so scared of putting my braces on? Why? 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 So I had this list and for example I wrote um I'm afraid of not being lovable. I'm afraid of not being beautiful enough. I'm afraid of not finding a boyfriend. <laughs> I know it sounds very stupid, but I swear those were my fears. And this is at the beginning. Then I asked myself, how can I turn these fears into something positive? So um, then I started switching. Okay, but... I'm actually, my fears are based on validation of others, of myself. I was trying to look for validation of my worth, of me being loved or lo lovable, of me being beautiful, of me being a girlfriend or even wife material. I was looking for that validation in someone else. And, I was, and then something clicked in me, like, why? I'm fear i have fears of someone who or a situation who isn't even a reality it's all in my mind it's all in my imagination i'm i have fears for a situation who doesn't even exist so um i keep telling myself that the people who truly matter doesn't matter or don't matter doesn't the people who matters don't matter why because 
like the people who really matters to me is my family, my father, my mom, my sisters, and my nieces. And the people who don't matter are friends, people that you might know, people that you don't know, people that you may work with or may not work with. And I was looking, I was, my fears were based on those people and not my family because I knew that my family will support me anyways. But you know why? What? Those are the people who truly matter. And they don't matter because they don't care. They just want to see you happy. So um, I started this journey with that mindset. Like, you know what? If I do this, this, I will be doing it for myself because I am on this journey um, that is my life journey, you know, to have this beautiful smile at the end, not at the time that the rest of the world decides to, because their, because their journey was different, their, uh, their financial situation was different than mine, you know, so I was trying to think that way, like, um, I'm not going out there, out in the world thinking that other people are going to be are going to define my worthiness or my happiness if they don't matter they don't matter in my life at all so that's a little bit of my of my um mindset at that time but yes um just to conclude this i used to have a lot of uh, meditation I, I mean i did a lot of meditation to release those negative thoughts i don't know if you're into meditation but that's what i did I wrote down my fears and I put them into into positive affirmations or positive statements. And lastly, oh no, as I already told you, I went out uh, on YouTube to see all the dramatic and drastic changes. And I used to scroll sometimes at the end of the video just to see the end result. And I used to skip, I swear, the middle part just because I wanted to see the before and after and say, this is what I want, this is what I want. So that helped me a lot. So um, I hope this helped you a little bit, um, Sam. So thank you so much for watching. And uh, I will be waiting for your response. Um, again, I just want to give you a big, big hug. I really want to motivate you to go on this journey. As you can see, this is my third. This is going to be my third official month with my bracelets. And um, even though that you see this part right now, uh, I had a rough beginning, a really rough beginning. You can see the start of my videos with where I was so scared, where I used to cry, where I had so many doubts about the future, about my fears. But here I am. And you know, sometimes I just forget that I have my braces on. I, I, I truly forget. And you know, I still have the scalps right here. And I still laugh I as I used to laugh. As I usually laugh like hard and I don't care. And I laugh like ha 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 ha. And you see the gaps. But you know what? It's okay. So it's totally okay. Um, again, thank you so much for watching. And now go to the next comment. Bye. So this is the second comment. And this is from Rocio Reyes Roman. Uh, she wrote me in Spanish. So I will be reading this in Spanish. And maybe translating a little bit, a little bit here and there for you. Así que, Rocío, si estás viendo, te mando un abrazo muy fuerte. Gracias por estar aquí. Eres súper linda. Te quiero mucho porque sé que estabas muy pendiente de mí y de mis videitos. Entonces, bueno, vamos a leer. So, yes, I'm going to read her comment. She says, um, hola, Jess. Gracias de nuevo por una nueva actualización sobre tu experiencia con los brackets. Creo que nunca he encontrado nada igual en YouTube tan completo. Oh, my God. Ay, qué linda, de verdad es que me, me da mucho, me emociona muchísimo, la verdad, que las personas, eh, que las personas eh, vean esto, ¿entiendes? O sea, lo que hago. So, yes, like, up to now, she's just saying, like, oh, thank you so much for the update about your experience with the braces. I've never found someone, nothing uh, similar on YouTube so complete just the sweetest thank you so much rocio so yes she continues um escribí en tu nuevo video anterior y yo también estoy pensando en ponerme brackets desde hace poco tiempo 
¿Los, recom los recomendarías? Tengo ya 28 años y me da un poco de vergüenza pensar en llevarlos, pero creo que merecería muchísimo la pena. No sabría si elegir entre metálicos o transparentes. ¿Cuáles recomiendas tú? Un besito guapa. Ay, un besito para ti también, preciosa. Creo que ya te escribí, te dice que hoy estaba filmando tu video, así que aquí vamos. So, Rocío said um, that she's, always, uh, she's also thinking about putting on her braces for a while now. She asked me if I recommend the braces. Um, she's telling me that she's 28 years old and that she has a little bit of um, shame, vergüenza, is that shame? Shame? Um, to put the bra to have braces on, but that she thinks that it will be so much worth it. Um, she doesn't know if um, whether to choose between metallics or 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 um, like this one, ceramics. Uh, and she's asking me which one I recommend. So um, I will be doing some Spanglish right now, if you don't mind. Voy a hablar en español en inglés. Pero primordialmente en español porque este comentario es para ti, Rocío. So I will mainly be responding to her comment in Spanish because she wrote me in Spanish, but I will give you um, a little bit of English in between for the people who, who are watching in English. Um, como ya te dije, muchas gracias, te quiero mucho. Bueno, Rocío. Eh, como te quiero responder, me preguntaste me tira, si, lo, si, lo re, si recomiendo los braces, eh, los frenillos. Pues absolutamente que sí, claro, o sea, sin duda, como puedes ver, tengo mis frenillos, tengo cuatro huecos. <ríe> y bueno, a veces se descolorean un poco, eh, pero ya te estaré contando sobre eso. Entonces sí, absolutamente te los recomiendo. Mira, mira que los frenillos me han enseñado paciencia. Me han enseñado a... Me he forzado... No. He forzado en mí sentir... Eh, uh, confidence. Y he forzado en mí amarme a mí misma y aceptarme tal y como soy. Entonces creo que hay muchos beneficios aparte de solamente una sonrisa eh, bonita al fin del día. Y aunque toma mucho tiempo, la verdad es de que... Como ya sabrás, yo estoy súper... Eh, Feliz de que lo pude empezar y que ya lo estoy haciendo porque cada, di cada día que pasaba me sentía más angustiada. Como, eh, ¿qué pasaría si? ¿Qué pasaría si yo tuviera mis braces? ¿Qué pasaría si de verdad tengo la sonrisa de mis sueños? Entonces, aunque pase mucho tiempo, aunque falte mucho tiempo, igual estoy súper feliz. So, for English, I'm just trying to tell her that I totally uh, recommend the braces because that's why, what she asked me. And um, I was just explaining to her that my journey is um, has teach me patience. What else did I say? Patience, um, a lot of confidence and, and uh, self-acceptance. So, my journey has forced me in a way or another to have patience, self-confidence, and self-acceptance. So that there are more benefits than only a smile, but also the, the process, the journey itself, uh, definitely brings the best out of me. Uh, así que dice, bueno, que tienes ya 28 años, yo también, entonces estamos igual, y de hecho empecé mis braces a los 28 años. Um, y que te da un poquito de vergüenza pensar en llevarlos, pero creo ¿Crees que merece mucho la pena? Pues claro que sí, la verdad es que me da pena. O sea, yo me quedé como seis meses, siete meses, ocho, sin conocer a ningún chico. Dije, no, yo me voy a quedar así porque ¿quién me va a querer con los braces? O sea, ¿quién? Eso, ¿sabes? Es horrible como mujer, me imagino, como hombre. Eh, pensar en que, bueno... ¿Quién me va a querer dar un besito con estos braces? ¿O quién me va a ver como mentira? Por ejemplo, yo uso lentes. Mira, yo uso lentes. Entonces dije, no, me voy a ver como Betty la fea. Yo no, yo no quiero esto, yo no quiero esto. Pero para que, como ya le dije a, a Sam, me puse a ver videos del antes y después y dije, no, espectacular. Eh, hay personas que le ha durado dos, tres años, pero al final se ven tan bonitas, se ven tan felices y, y tienen un, 
una seguridad propia, un amor propio tan grande que digo, no, de verdad vale mucho la pena. No sé cuál será tu problema de tus dientes, pero como puedes ver, a mí me faltan cuatro dientes y tengo estos dientes así que tienen que entrar para, para atrás. Entonces, um, si es un poco vergonzoso, no lo voy a desmentir, es difícil, especialmente siendo joven que... Uh, aún quieres salir, quieres sentirte guapa, te quieres sentir sexy, bonita y de nada sexy en esta. Okay, so for English, I'm just trying to, um, she told me that she's 28 years old, which I just um, confirmed that I am also 28 years old. Um, and I was just explaining, like, it's, I feel like this is definitely not sexy at all. It doesn't look very nice, etc. But it's so much worth it at the end, especially after seeing so many before and afters and the afters being so gracefully and people being so happy. Definitely worth it. Eh, me dices que no sabes si elegir entre metálicos o transparentes. Y me preguntas cuál te recomiendo. So she's asking, um, no, she's saying that she doesn't know uh, whether to choose between, whether to choose metallics or ceramic, tra um, transparent. And she asked me which one I recommend. So I will continue in Spanish, but from now on, I can already say I recommend both, but my preference is still on the tra transparent, the ceramics. For my own reasons, Um, especially because I knew that my confidence was not that strong at the beginning and it helped me to start the journey. But now I will change for metallics if I could based on the level of confidence and um, self-acceptance that I have now. Pues sí, nada preciso. Yo la verdad pienso que no sé qué, a qué nivel de, de vergüenza sientas en estos momentos. Yo sé que al principio yo decía, no, es que yo no puedo, yo no puedo ser metálicos, yo no puedo, yo no puedo, yo no puedo. Y, y bueno, decidí pagar extra por los cerámicos. Y la verdad es que no me arrepiento. Pienso que eh, teniendo los transparentes me ha, ha, ha hecho este proceso un mucho más agradable de lo que yo pensé. Sí puedes ver que tengo la línea ahí, pero bueno. Siento que eso me ayuda, es mejor que tener los metales, pero tampoco descarto que eh, teniendo estos eh, transparentes o, o cerámicos, no puedo desmentir que a veces es muy fastidioso porque eh, tengo que tener mucho cuidado qué es lo que voy a comer porque se mancha súper rápido. No los brackets, pero eh, los elásticos y todo lo que pone alrededor que... Eso sí se remueve y lo limpian cada dos semanas para mí o cada un mes si yo quiero. O sea, dos semanas es opcional, pero en sí en sí un mes. Entonces, eso sí me gusta que puedo cambiarlo continuamente cuando yo quiera, aunque toma tiempo porque tienes que salir de tu rutina, pero sí es posible. Y, o sea, no se mancha el, el, el bracket, pero sí se mancha um, los elásticos que aguantan el, el bracket. Entonces, bueno, estaré haciendo un otro videito sobre eso, pero yo personalmente recomiendo los transparentes, aunque hay muchas personas que prefieren los metálicos. So, um, yes, my end recommendation was the ceramic ones, because I like it and it helped me a lot. And I know that I have the option to go to my orthodontist and change the band uh, every two weeks instead of monthly, so that helps a lot. Pero bueno, eh, Rocío, este era mi comentario para ti. Te quiero dar un abrazo, decirte muchas gracias por estar acá. No sé si ya empezaste tu, tu, eh, tu Brace Australia, pero si es así, entonces te, eh, te deseo mucho éxito en tu journey. Y si no has empezado aún, bueno, de verdad, ¿qué más? ¿Qué esperas? Te mando muchos, muchas energías positivas y motivadoras para que pronto tengas tus Braces y puedas estar conmigo en este journey. And for all of you, thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video uh, helped you a little bit to get a little bit motivated and to feel that you're not alone or more, there are more of us than you may think. So yes, that was the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments, please let me know down below and I would like to uh, react to them in another video. Bye!